what's got two fat tires, a big old battery, and comes with one of the coolest iridescent color changing paint jobs I've ever seen on an e-bike? Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Zugo Rhino, a fat tire moped style e-bike that's available in both a step through and a step over frame. Let's check them out. With both a conventional step over frame and a comfortable to mount step through frame, I had to ask some friends to join me to test out these awesome moped style electric bikes. It's quite powerful. While the step over gives you the classic top tank moped feel, the step through is so nice and easy to just hop on and ride, especially if you're going to add that rear rack and strap on a bunch of cargo on back. Other than the included cup holder on the step over version, they're both basically the same everywhere else. That means you've got a 750 watt continuous rated hub motor on back that can get you up to 20 miles per hour right out of the box, or you can unlock the bike to hit class three speeds of 28 miles per hour. You've also got a nice big battery that's hidden away behind these panels, giving the bike a sleek look without seeing the blocky battery. There are options for either 750 watt hours or 1000 watt hours in the battery, giving you a claimed range of up to 80 miles on a charge, though of course that's the pedal assist range, and if you're making use of that fun throttle a lot, then you won't get the full 80 miles per charge. I will say though that the Zugo Rhino is surprisingly comfortable to pedal, which is not true of many moped style e-bikes. I've called several others out that are basically unpedalable but the Rhino puts its pedals far enough forward and has a long enough bench seat that you can still feel good pedaling along, at least if you're using pedal assist. If that big battery runs out, lord help you trying to pedal a 65 pound bike for any appreciable distance. The good news is that the battery is so big that you shouldn't run into any issue there, with a good 40 plus miles of real world range, or more if you're pedaling, so most people can realistically probably charge once a week. As far as comfort goes, you've got an inverted suspension fork up front and then a pair of 20 inch fat tires that add further cushioning. I'd love to have seen some rear suspension, but it's just not going to happen at this price, which is $2,099, though the bikes are currently on sale for $19.99. We occasionally see some rear suspension moped style e-bikes in this price range, but they sacrifice quality by going with bargain basement rear shocks and so I'd probably rather have a hardtail if at least it means that the frame and components are made well. And in this case, both seem to check the box. On the component side, we've got a nice transmission with the Shimano Altus. Now it's nothing fancy, it's on the lower end of Shimano's hierarchy, but there's no point in shaving off a few grams with a really nice transmission on a heavy bike like this. So the Altus seems fine for this style of riding. And giving us multiple gears to shift through is part of what makes the bike comfortable to pedal. For brakes, they did spoil us with some nice dual piston hydraulic disc brakes, though they went with 160mm rotors. I would have liked to have seen some 180s, but to be honest, the 160s are plenty, and I don't feel like there's any issue with braking distance, the brakes are nice and strong and grippy. Everything else seems just as nice to me. The fat tires are all terrain, so you can take the bike on some nature trails if you'd like, the long bench seat is nice and comfortable, plus it has enough room back there to carry a passenger which is why you get the included foot pegs as standard equipment. It's also great to see some other included equipment, like the full metal fenders and the LED lights. That headlight is especially awesome, and is a big part of what gives the bike its styling. Plus, check out that paint job. The bike also comes in black and white options, sure, but the iridescent indigo option is just so beautiful, changing color from blue to purple and all sorts of shades in between, all depending on the lighting and the angle you look at it. While the camera does a decent job of picking it up, it looks even better in person. In fact, every single person I showed the bike to was just blown away by the paint. I was getting comments from strangers all over the place. It's probably the nicest stock paint option I've ever seen on an e-bike, and that's coming from a guy that has reviewed hundreds of e-bikes at this point. Simply put, the Zugo Rhino is an incredibly fun bike for cruising or for commuting. You can even go overboard with the accessories. The rear rack will definitely be a favorite for many people, but make sure you check out some of the other accessories like their metal phone holder, alarm system, mirrors, 5 amp fast charger, smart pump, and more. That electric pump is a godsend by the way, especially for these fat tires that take longer to fill up with a small mechanical pump. You just slap that sucker on there, dial in the air pressure you want, and let it do the work. 
It's not the quietest way to fill your tires, but it's probably the easiest way. If you're looking for a fun, fast, and enjoyable moped-style e-bike that doesn't cost a fortune, the Zugo Rhino should absolutely be on your shortlist. We had a blast testing these out, and if the smiles are any indication, you'll enjoy it too. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Zugo Rhino. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.